So it was the second day of my day in Japan, and I had seen Bandmade. The next day, I had to head out, go to Tokyo, and see Gungare and Drag Down. Uh, this is a, a release party for Gungare's album Incitement, their next mini album, and. Goon Gray was playing. I was so excited when I heard they were playing together because I've interviewed both the bands and uh, it was a really cool just to be able to see them while I was there. I mean, it was a happy, happy accident. Uh, I was going to take Juice with me from the BMCD because his phone was just not working in Japan. Uh, it was all locked out, couldn't access data. So yeah, he's going to have trouble getting there. So I was going to help him out. So I walked about 20 minutes to his, to his hotel. We head to the head to the train get our tickets sorted out, get on a Shinkansen and head to Tokyo. We're going to Antinoch to see the concert. Finally, we do make our way to Antinoch, and here we are with the board outside of the venue saying who is playing, and it's Femtocell, Noel, Dragdown, Nabla 9, and Gungare. Now, I knew of Dragdown and Gungare, obviously, but I have never heard of Femtocell, Noel, or Nabla 9, so I didn't know what to expect. Uh, Juice needed some tickets anyway, so I was like, well, let's go down and see about getting you a ticket. To so enter your way down into the venue. I like these venues because I got all the posters. Some of them have been up for years, you know, old bands and stuff, and it's just cool to see that stuff. Here's uh, Gungare's, their most recent one, and their previous release shows they did there. Kind of the first stuff I saw with Gungare was them at Antinoch. Rotten Vegetables video I saw was the first thing I saw from them, and I fell in love with them immediately. Uh, more posters, you know, you guys might recognize some of these bands on here. Now here we have the uh, the great Antinoch logo, <laughs> stylized logo they like to uh, reproduce. It's pretty freaking cool. Now, so when I did go down there, uh, we the venue was open, we went down, and as I was coming down the stairs, as I said in my previous video, I ran into Taichi, who is a bass player, bass player for Gungare, and I called out his name and he turned around and recognized me. I didn't really know what to say, you know, other than, you know, hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> so, uh, you know, Hajime Mashite. He said, Matsu-san, like it, with the question, like, you know, that I want to meet him. I said, yeah, let's let's mo go meet him. So we went back down the stairs and I met Matsu, who plays guitar. And he said that Drag Down had just got done with their sound check and they would be coming out soon. So I was like, oh, cool. So Kenji came out. And they were all surprised to see me there. I'm like, they knew I was coming, but it was early. So they were a little surprised to see me. And uh, Tatsuki came around, the drummer. So I said, you know, can we get a picture? And of course, we got a photo with them, which is super cool to get. Um, and then we headed out. And we had to kill, I don't know, an hour or two before the show. I think about an hour and a half or something like that. So we did, you know, went and got some food. I got some eel, here's here's half of it gone, because sometimes I forget to take pictures, but I do love eel, it's one of my favorite things, and that's what I always get. Now, for the show, I didn't realize that uh, we could actually take photo and video, there wasn't anybody doing it, so I just kind of read the room and didn't do any myself. For Drag Down, here is a little bit of their song Dirge from uh, the show, this is their video they posted. Here I am, looking the, the right side there. I'm over by the speakers. Yeah, Juice is there next to me. This is freaking awesome, dude. It was so cool to see this live. Afterwards, we did get some photos with the band, and here you see me getting a nice photo with the band with Drag Down. This is after the whole show, not just their set, but here's me and Kenji and Aikoku, and uh, it was so cool to be able to stand there and just take a photo with them after seeing seeing their music and, and talking to them via interview. Here's uh, Juice, he got a photo with them too, and then here's a shot of Peter Lim with them. A really cool thing about Peter Lim showing up was one that he just showed up at all. It was cool to see him there. Two, uh, he speaks English and Japanese. 
I had mentioned that we couldn't really that drag down and I couldn't really talk and he said hey since I'm here if you want to go talk to him try and have a conversation let's do that I was like dude that's awesome cool so we went over to the table and uh, he said quickly to Aikoku you know that he could translate if if he wanted to if she would like him to and she was thankful for it and she just wanted to say thank you for being so supportive of the band and sharing videos and commenting on stuff on on X and, and YouTube and everything and she was they were glad I was there and I just told them you know thanks for being an awesome band and showing like showing appreciation for people that show you support and I'm so, I was just so happy to be able to see him live it was really it was a cool moment so I thank Peter for being there although he did get him to flip me off you know for whatever reason <laughs> that was that, that's fine that's fine okay now we move on to Gungare I will say Femtocell and Noel are great bands I recommend checking them out I will put links in the description below but here's Gungare here's a still of Nana just kicking ass on vocals tight and i'm sorry i don't remember the drummer's name who was their support drummer um i tried looking up online who it was and they didn't list him in if i figure it out i'll get it in the description below because the dude really kicked ass here is a live clip of them <laughs> Here's a shot of them just getting set up to do the photo uh, with all the bands at the end of the show. They all huddled up in front of the stage and got a photo with whatever crowd was left there. Kind of cool to see, see them all together. And here is my photo with Kungare and Chaotic Blue and Peter Lim. And they were so cool, man. It's cool to, to meet them in person, as I said, with the other bands. It was just a cool moment, man. And, and <laughs> Matsu was kind of holding my belly and I asked him later, I'm like, why were you doing that? He goes, oh, it was meant to be a hug. Sorry if it was weird. <laughs> oh, this is Century and Cac Blue and Century's daughter, Chloe, who was there. Uh, it was cool to see them show up, too. There was a few people showed up. Uh, Peter Lim showed up. Uh, Richard Hogan was there. Mike Barber. A couple other uh, musicians showed up from other bands. Uh, pretty cool to see. But hey, that was the day. That was, it was an exciting day. It was really cool to see the bands live and discover a couple new bands, which I really I liked and I talked to and didn't get any photos with them either because sometimes I'm not the brightest when it comes to doing this job. <laughs> we'll have another video up soon. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.